Alright guys, sorry for the wait, I had a busy weekend. We are doing Warlock Zone 5, Ninja Castle. And we have some lady with a baby carriage shooting at us, and some Viking dudes with axes. In the ninja hideout, on the outskirts of the town, there's an old wise man. He's built some very strange tricks and traps, so getting in to meet him is no simple task. Yeah, so the dungeon you're going to is going to be hard. Good luck, <laughs> is basically what he said. Once again, useless. And I don't even know how that touched me or what touched me, but that was some bullshit. You can even rewind the video and see that I didn't even freaking touch that chick's baby carriage. There are some really broken hitboxes in this game that don't really make sense. There we go, got my cat back. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, don't need this. That's just an in. In case I did lose any health points, I would go in there, but I didn't. Let's see what's in here. Store. We have everything we need. Would you like to buy something? <laughs> Three items is everything I need. Well, since I got hit, I'll buy sandals and a slice. Alright, these warthogs just keep coming out constantly, so you can like farm for money for forever. If you have the patience. Judo! Ah! Okay, so let. Let me finally explain what scrolls are. Alright, Judo, basically you go see that guy and for $400 or $800 he teaches you a Judo technique. And when you complete the training, which it does automatically, you just have to pay for it, it gives you the technique. But in order to use it, you need 10 scrolls. So one of them will be like, ride a tiger, or fly like Superman, or kill everything on the screen. Let me just check my inventory. I'm just trying to see. Alright. I'm just trying to see everything I have. Um, yeah, or kill everything on the screen. Just like extra abilities that, um, but, and you need 10 scrolls to use it once. So, it's, I mean, yeah, you can get 10 scrolls fairly quickly, but the problem is that they only work in the stage. So that means if I spend 400 or 800 dollars on a judo, it'll only work in this level, and that's really not worth it for me. Like, might as well just save my money. This is dangerous territory. Be careful. Proceed with caution. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that they added that into the game. You know, like just in case people might want it, and it'll it'll be really beneficial to them. But for me, it's not worth the time, the money, the the abilities aren't really that good. Um, Riding the tiger is pretty cool because it's like um, in multiplayer you can your friend can crawl on the floor and you can jump on his back and ride him. <laughs> no homo. But um, so like the tiger has its own health bar and you can attack from the tiger. But your mobility is different. So I mean it's cool, but it's also not really worth it. It's not worth like the eight hundred dollars it costs. So that's just my take on judo, but if you play the game and you want to try it out, give it a shot. You might really have fun with it. And I'm just waiting for these spikes to coincide with proper timing. Uh, tight jump. Alright, just some patient platforming here. Can't rush this game. This uh, this is probably my favorite music in the whole game. And this is, well, this next to the second to last stage has the most difficult platforming, I'd say. Not the most difficult enemies or bosses, but the most difficult platforming. Halfway down with the stage. 
these ninjas, if they uh, miss you, they get stuck on the floor. They're they're pretty harmless. Okay. <laughs> but then they do get unstuck and they'll start walking towards you. These, those are the real troubles in, in this stage. They come out of those like wi windows in the wall and they shoot these tiny little like I don't know, alien creature. They're really small and there's four of them. And then they start crawling towards you. And they're just really hard to hit. And they move pretty quickly. So these guys I try and kill. It comes out of their mouth too. But um, those guys I try to kill as soon as possible. Got another elephant. They just spill whatever they're holding and they toss it at you. <laughs> really, I guess, creative enemy design. Fairly simple. I just use my coins here to be safe. Towards the end of the game, or the latter part of the game, I start using uh, more of my money for for things instead of actually fighting the enemies because it gets tough. All right, boss fight time. So we have two ninjas every time. My mistake there was I swung too early before they were active, so oh, trapped myself. Making some terrible mistakes here. I don't know how that touched me. But those are the little aliens I was talking about. <clears throat> so now I pretty much use my coins on this guy. Just so I don't have to get close and deal with Ooh, I almost died there. I don't want to deal with the weird hitboxes in this game. But yeah, this is one of the tougher bosses in the game. Even though usually I don't have too much trouble with him. And I usually throw coins at his little uh, minions also. I don't know why I tried hitting them this time around. And we're pretty much done with the stage. Now we meet the old man, the wise man of Iga. God, it must be something special for you to have come all this way to see me. Ah, you're searching for somebody. Go to Dragon Pond, the land of Izumo. The white mirror will show you the way. And then he built a latest invention, a transportation machine. And wait till you see this thing. <laughs> it's just a fucking cannon. But, this troll freaking misses and shoots you to another land, so now we gotta deal with his crap and figure it out. Later, guys.